In this video, we're going to be doing a solid opal ring with a cool variation. This is a black opal with a lot of greens and blues and a little reds. I think it's going to make a really nice base. And we're going to do some inlays into this ring with this white opal. We're going to use the fine that you see here and also some of the powder to fill in gaps. The first step to making this ring is going to be to cut our blank from our large chunk of opal. What we're going to do is attach it to our vise using some rubber to protect it on either side. You can see we have our large outside diameter hollow diamond bit right now. What we're doing is just making sure that we know where we're going to cut the ring from. But what we're going to do is switch to our inside diameter bit, the smaller one, before we drill the outside. Now that we've got our placement figured out, we're ready to begin drilling. So we're going to start with the inside diameter and just doing a slow process of adding pressure and water until we've cut all the way through the blank. Now we're gonna to switch to our outside diameter bit and repeat the process. Now that we have our rough ring blank, we're ready to square up some of these rough edges on the sander before we go to the lathe and actually cut it to the right size and shape. Here we've got the ring back on the mandrel. We had already cut it to size, but unfortunately that video was corrupted. So we're skipping ahead and we're just taking our rotary ceramic tool here and we're shaping it to make sure that it's spinning on canter on the lathe. Now we're going to sand the inside of the ring with our rotary tool to the size we're trying to achieve. I wouldn't ordinarily do this first, but because we're going to be putting deep inlays in the front of the band, I needed to know how much material I actually have to work with. Now we have a ring back on our mandrel, and we're gonna take our ceramic rotary tool and gouge out the inlays. For this ring, we're doing a triple inlay, and we're gonna make them evenly spaced so that you get enough of the inlay and enough of that black opal in the face.
Before we begin doing our three inlays, we're going to do a thin layer of white enamel paint into all these channels. This is really going to help the white opal contrast against the black opal band. Now we're finally ready to start doing our inlays. It's a slow process, so we're gonna start doing each one of these individually. We're gonna use the powder for the base, and then we're gonna put larger chunks in there to get better visibility. After giving the inlay enough time to cure, we're going to remove the excess opal with a tungsten bit.
Now I'm going to take it off the mandrel and remove the excess black opal from the sides of the inlays. I could do this on the mandrel with the grinding tool, but I prefer to do it by hand on the sander just because it's a little more delicate. We're nearing the end, but now all we have to do is sand the outside and inside to a little smoother finish before we can add our Luma UV clear coat. I like to add a little bit of vinyl tape to the outside of the band when I'm putting it in the chuck just to protect it while I sand the inside. Now we're going to glue a small piece of wire to the vinyl tape to use as a hanger in the UV bath after we put our clear coat on. After removing all of the dust from the inside of the band, we're ready to add our clear coat. The hardest part about this is knowing the amount of resin to use for the size you're trying to hit, but after a lot of practice I can finally eyeball this process. Now we'll put the ring in the UV bath by the hanger and suspend it in there until it's cured. After about an hour in the UV bath, I'll put it back on the mandrel and we're ready to do our outside clear coat.
Now the ring goes back into the UV bath to cure for about another hour and it'll be complete. So this ring took a very long time, almost an entire days of work to complete. It's a pretty hands-on design, but I think the results speak for themselves. You really don't see like this kind of contrast anywhere. I love how it came out and I would definitely like to be making more of these. This is actually the third iteration of this band I've done. Definitely the lowest profile, as you can see here, the fit is really nice and really comfortable. Um, I had previously done these in two different colors of purple, but they didn't come out nearly as well because they're much thicker. So I think, you know, practice makes perfect in this case. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment on some other cool color combinations you might like for this ring. And uh, stay tuned for the next video.